The gentlewoman reserves. Uh, the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As an, emergency, as an emerging technology, quantum computing holds great promise and potential peril for our nation. It has the potential to exponentially increase computing power and processing speeds, which will mean technological leaps for American research activities and business sectors. While such major advances are likely decades away, there is a clear risk that foreign adversaries like China are using early developments in quantum computing technology for malicious purposes. One immediate risk is that our foreign adversaries may use the first quantum computers to unlock data that has already been stolen from U.S. federal agencies. Current data encryption methods protect the privacy, security, and integrity of underlying data and is nearly impossible to, to decrypt with today's computing capabilities. The computations required to unlock encrypted data requires computing resources that we do not currently possess. However, as quantum computing matures, so does the possibility that sensitive information could be unlocked. This is a clear national security threat. The Quantum Computing Cybersecurity Preparedness Act will require a government-wide strategy to better secure valuable government data. While the federal government already has initiatives underway to address such emerging threats, including the development of post-quantum cryptography standards and a recent Presidential National Security Directive, H.R. 7535 makes this, makes this clear congressional priority. The bill requires a government-wide review of vulnerable agency information systems, consistent guidance to federal agencies, and seeks to ensure proper congressional oversight. Advancing a strategic approach to evaluating quantum computing risks to, to federal IT and network cybersecurity is important given the significant potential risk to our public sector data. And since this bill only requires centralized guidance and reporting, the Congressional Budget Office found it would cost American taxpayers less than $1 million over five years. This is a reasonable investment. I thank my House Oversight Committee colleagues, Representative Ro Khanna and Nancy Mace, for their work on this important bill. I reserve the balance of my time. The